The os coxa is one of the main structures that helps form our pelvic girdle. And it's actually made up of three bones. We're looking at three bones here that have fused together to make one. This is the ilium. This is the ischium. This is the pubis. Ilium, ischium, pubis. So let's take these one at a time. The ilium is the largest of the three structures. And when you put your hands on your hips, and you think of your hips, all right, we're talking about this right here. This is our iliac crest, iliac crest. Iliac crest has a couple anterior structures to it and a few posterior structures as well. So right here, we have the anterior superior iliac spine. If you follow that straight back, you can see the posterior superior iliac spine. If we come back to the anterior side, we have an anterior inferior iliac spine. Follow that straight back, we have the posterior inferior iliac spine. So anterior superior, anterior inferior, and then again, followed straight back, posterior superior, posterior inferior iliac spine. We have something called the iliac tuberosity, and we have the auricular surface. The auricular surface of the ilium is what articulates, if you remember the sacrum, with the auricular surface here. So the auricular surface of the sacrum fits in quite nicely, perfectly right there, with the auricular surface of the ilium. A little bit further down, we have the greater sciatic notch, the ischial spine, and the lesser sciatic notch. Greater sciatic notch, iliac spine, lesser sciatic notch. And this starts to lead into the ischium. Then, as we look at more of the anterior portion of this, we have the pubis. So the pubis has an upper branch and a lower branch. We call it the superior ramus and the inferior ramus. And the superior ramus and the inferior ramus coming all the way around with the ischium makes up a structure called the obturator foramen. The obturator foramen is this opening right here. This is the medial view of the oscoxa. Ilium, ischium, pubis. So here, again, we have the iliac crest. That's your hips, so to speak. Again, when you put your hands on your hips or palpate your hips, that's your iliac crest. We have the anterior superior iliac spine, anterior inferior iliac spine. And if you follow those straight back, we come to the posterior superior iliac spine and the posterior inferior iliac spine. You'll see the greater sciatic notch, greater sciatic notch, the ischial spine, and the lesser sciatic notch. From here we have the ischial tuberosity. That's what you sit down on when you take a seat. You're sitting on that thick ischial tuberosity right there. It's part of your ischium. Then we have the inferior ramus of the pubis, the superior ramus of the pubis, and all of these th structures, the ilium, the ischium, the pubis, they all sort of form together in this right here, which is what we refer to as the acetabulum. So the acetabulum has sort of this cup shape to it. And if you look at this giant guy right here, this is our femur. This is the head of the femur, and you can see exactly where this is going to fit in. Head of the femur articulates with that acetabulum. That's our ball and socket joint. That is your hip joint, or your hip socket.